Hello and welcome to this demonstration on avoiding spam filters with the content of your email. Spam is a nuisance. As consumers we hate it, email clients work hard to guard us against it, and as email marketers we do our very best to get around it. As clients, that's Yahoo, or Gmail, MacMail, etc., get stricter and stricter, we have to do more to look after your online reputation. This ensures delivery. MailAway take care of the majority of technical steps that aid delivery, such as domain authentication and feedback loops, but there's also steps you can take when creating your email to help ensure you get through the pesky filters. These filters work by giving your email a spam score. You never really know what that score is, but it's made up of all the different aspects of your campaign, including the subject line, from name and address, images, attachments and written content. To illustrate these points, we've created a campaign with as much spam content we could think of, and I'm going to edit this campaign now to show you in all its spammy glory. First, the campaign sender details. The subject line, I'm going to go over here to the edit to change these. So my campaign name is just avoiding um, spam filters. Now the subject line ideally needs to be less than 30 characters and although it should show the offer if you have one too much emphasis on known spam words such as free or money off could trigger a filter alert so mine is nicely worded as dear friend which can also trigger um, spam filters get your free cash prize today the from name should be recognizable to the recipient to encourage them to open your email but it doesn't have so much bearing on the filters other than if your email isn't recognizable and if you have prolonged unopens then it can increase your chances of getting put into the junk folder. The from email address hasn't, doesn't have to be a real email address but it should be recognizable and have the same domain name as your website. Filters would read your email address and do some checks on it to make sure it's validated. Here you can see I've put a nice hideous email address in of no reply, lots of numbers at demon.co.uk. The reply to address again should be friendly um, and the same, um, it doesn't have to be the same, but it should be friendly um, and again the same domain name as your website. Do not mail is quite regular or do not reply, um, but it's not. Um, encouraging to your recipient so you should try and have an inquiries or a mail at email address instead of that. This does have to be a real email address so please remember that. So now I'm going to go on to the actual content of, your, of our email over here. So here you can see I've added some great spammy um, content to this email. Um, the images in here are massive. Um, this one is over 3,000 pixels in size. Um, it doesn't necessarily get you caught in the spam filter, but making the email far bulkier than it needs to be. Um, MailAway software doesn't allow us to add attachments, um, which is great news because attachments can also get you caught in the, in the filters. Um, and if this image was an attachment, not only would it clog up everyone's inbox, it would boost your spam score. So I've also included lots of capital letters. I'll go through to the preview so we can see it better. Yeah, lots of capital letters, some spelling mistakes, and tons of punctuation. Um, punct excessive punctuation, such as all of these exclamation marks, um, will up your spam score, as will lots of capitals. I've also got some great spam words in my call to actions. So down here you can see I've got cash, bonus, free. Um, click here even gets picked up in, you, in your spam filters. Um, it's hard to know exactly what words will trigger the filter um, as everyone's filters are set slightly differently um, and their rules change continuously and are updating. Spammers and fishers regularly update their tactics to try and get around them but these are well-known words that you can avoid. Equally, things like enter your account details or anything to do with logging on are associated with um, phishing emails trying to get people's details for like banks or accounts. Um, so it's important to try and remove them as well. Filters also dislike high image ratio. The reason for this is that filters believe spammers or fishers hide their content within images. You can get away with it if you have a good reputation. However, you should be aiming for no less than 60% text to ensure you get through. You can see here, this is a massive image. Then we've got this and these images here with very little writing next to them. So my images are probably a little bit high for ideal content. 
That's it for my content really. Um, it's an exaggeration to illustrate the points. The best thing you can do when creating your email is to be aware of these points and perform the relevant tasks when your campaign. So I'm just going to go back through to the snapshot and show you the testing that we can do to avoid those filters. You can easily do a manual test which is just to send yourself and your friends and colleagues a single email and make sure that it doesn't get in your inbox. So it does get in your inbox, doesn't get in your spam box. Or you can choose to perform a full spam test on your campaign which is simply choosing this tab here to complete a designer spam test. This costs only £5 and if you're worried about the delivery of your campaign then it's definitely worth doing as the test will show you where you do or don't get through the filters and the most popular clients. Simple to do, you just add your credit card details at the bottom, submit the payment, run the test. It will take a little while to do the test because it actually sends a real email out to all the well-known clients and sends you a screenshot back with a report to say whether you've got through or not. So that's it, that concludes our demonstration on avoiding spam filters. Please have a watch of the content creation demonstration to really see how to create a beautiful email. Thank you.